Starting off day two of the 18 days with the R18 and the ride from coast to coast for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation, ride for kids. This is day two. I'm here in Morristown, Tennessee. Uh, day two, that's where I stopped. Covered 343 miles yesterday. Let's see how many miles we can get done today. I plan to get into Arkansas or head into Arkansas. And the funny thing is I was going through my Facebook feed in the morning today and I saw that our partner Motorcyclist Map had added a bunch of cool stuff to their uh, to their tool, uh, one, of, one of which were abandoned prisons. Uh, and there's an abandoned prison or not used prison here in Nashville, Tennessee. So that's about, should be about two and a half hours away from Morristown. So that's where I'm headed. Uh, we'll see you soon. about an hour and a half since I left Morristown, Tennessee. And I saw this, I saw this sign on the highway which said uh, Melton Hill Dam. Damn, let's look at that damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm silly, whatever. Uh, so I pulled over, I followed the signs and check this out. That's the gorgeous dam. People be on boats, people fishing. Pretty, really pretty. Really pretty. I don't know if you can see, but there's a deer crossing over there. It's minding its own da own business, taking its time, checking everyone out. There's my R18 Transcontinental doing its thing. <laughs> I don't think I did a walk around or anything of that sort for this bike, so let me take this moment to do that. Uh, I like this. I like the looks. This has got a decent amount of chrome on it driving lights as a transcontinental so it's got a fairing a little bit of a lower saddlebag tool packs all of that up front is your radar for adaptive cruise jug sticking out because <laughs> it's a boxer and this is the cool spot uh, you can slide your phone in here uh, you can charge it and it's got a little fan to help keep it cool um, and once you have the phone connected and the, the motor ad the BMW motor ad app kicks off you get your navigation and all of that from there pretty cool and so this my phone's a samsung galaxy s22 ultra and it fits right in a little bit of a tight fit but it does and you can charge it as well and uh last time i checked the time it was still right o'clock so i'm gonna go <laughs> so i looked up motorcyclist map in the morning and they had added uh abandoned prisons uh, as part of the new cool attractions and cool stuff you can go and check out so I thought why not I was I'm in Tennessee anyway so I thought of checking out the uh, the Tennessee prison uh, I'll put the actual name in the, in the description uh, but yeah so this is the abandoned one I can't go in past a certain point but there you go so there it is uh, no trespassing or no going beyond this point but there in the background is the is a is the prison. It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, uh, but it's something cool to see. I mean, you don't see that every day. <laughs> Finally crossed into Arkansas. It's been uh, it's been quite a long day. Really hot, really hot, really hot day. But hey, finally made it to Arkansas. Arkansas. This is the Arkansas Welcome Center, and uh, yeah, STA of sorts. A lot of picnic tables. Shout out to. BMW Motorrad USA, BMW Performance Center, Motorcycles of Greensboro, Lunar Lanes, and Motorcyclist Maps for making all of this happen. And Fusion Man. Oh, I can't forget Fusion Man. 
Uh, made it to uh, this town called uh, Forest City, Arkansas. Forest City, Arkansas, and uh, yeah, uh, rode through like a sea of bugs, like a swamp of bugs almost. Just had the bugs splattered everywhere. <laughs> Headlights, bearings, radar, uh, windshield lights, even the side fairing, the lowers everywhere mirrors check that out you <laughs> that's what i did today 504 miles uh, rode through some what, 102 degree heat uh, i'm sweaty as i'm sweaty and nasty right now but i know as soon as i get inside hit the shower i'm gonna be out so yeah lovely 500 mile uh, day with all that heat uh, drank like lots of water uh, huge fan of the adaptive cruise the adaptive cruise is a lifesaver and secondly the adaptive cruise is also lean sensing so if you're leaning into a curve it slows down by itself if it thinks you can't make it or uh, if you're leaning it too much so that's really really cool no need for to you for you to apply brakes and stuff I really like that um, comfort wise was good uh, the heat, it being a, a boxer and air cooled, air and oil cooled, I wasn't expecting it to be really cold. It was, uh, it was heating up quite a bit, quite a bit, uh, but but that's what it is. But the bike is smooth, uh, it rides really, really, really smooth. And what I've noticed is uh, the fuel economy that I've been getting on the bike is like 38, about 38 miles per gallon, uh, and I've been in roll mode. Uh, for this entire trip the first two days and it's been all highways so 38 um, that seems a little off by the standards that it's pitting against but we'll see it's a new bike though uh, we'll see as, as we put more as I put more miles on it if it changes anything the other thing I'm a big fan of is that little compartment where you can slide the phone in plug it in it's charging and the fan keeps it cool uh, that's that's really really cool like your phone is charged the whole time because your phone has to be unlocked for the motor app to work and your map to work uh, but it keeps it cool it keeps it charged um, and it's it's right there in a secure position and it's waterproof so no need to worry about rain and stuff huge shout out to BMW Motorrad North America uh, the BMW Performance Center motorcycles of Greensboro Andrew you're amazing um, and also a shout out to our uh, partners at Lunar Lens Motorcyclist Map and uh, Fusion 9. I'm done for today, so I guess I'll see. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow or whenever the next video comes out. Uh, but yeah, we'll pick right up with day three. Keep your knees in the breeze, and I'll see you soon, bro. Out. Yeah.